Hello everybody, it's Dana Sullivan the Stampin' Chick here with another Make It Monday. <laughs> How are you today my friends? I hope you had a fantastic weekend. It is Monday again and so here I am with you for a fabulous Make It Monday project which is also a 3D project which is also a sneak peek at a brand new item from the upcoming 2020 August to December or slash uh, 2020 holiday catalog. And I'm super excited to share it with you because as you can see, it is an adorable little treat box. And not only is it just a little treat box and you can see this beautiful little diamond ring die cut and this adorable little tag die cut and the layered uh, scallop stitched circle back there. Okay, there's lots to see and do, so let's get to it, shall we? Okay, first things first, I'm using the Little Treats bundle. The stamp set is super adorable. We've got Merry Christmas, especially for you, Happy Halloween, uh, a little treat, birthday wishes, thanks for coming, and you've got a cool, cool little spider, Santa's hat, a wedding set, gift package, treats, all kinds of good stuff here in this one. So basically what I'm telling you is this is a super fabulous uh, multi-occasion stamp and die bundle. Now let me show you the dies. So we've got that cool little spider there. There's the diamond ring. Uh, the Christmas ornaments have their own dies. The gift package has a die. Santa's hat. Here's that little uh, tag. Isn't that adorable? And then there's a little banner piece here. A label, tag, what have you. Uh, that would be super cute as well. Now, I've not had uh, too much opportunity to play with the new stuff yet, but I wanted to give you a sneak peek into uh, some of the products that I had shared with you on my unboxing video. So, um, I had an opportunity to uh, play with this stamp and die bundle for today's Make It Monday. So, I hope that you enjoy it. All right, now, we're going to be using the uh, Especially For You stamp and the to and from stamp and then I have already pre die cut uh, the pieces that we're going to use so uh, this is a uh, blushing bride cardstock and as you can see uh, the box is um, already got the score lines made it's got the beautiful scallops the whole cut it's got slots cut everything is ready to go for assembly and then there's that beautiful little scalloped circle with the stitch lines and you know we have very few uh circle punches left but i did find that in the layering circles dies the second smallest circle right there is this one and it fits perfectly inside the stitch marks. I mean perfectly. So I love that. And then I've got our little tag punched or die cut rather, I'm sorry. And then the little diamond ring also die cut. And I love this, it is so cute. And I've also gone ahead and pre-cut some ribbon. Um, I'm using the gold braided trim from the uh, Forever Greenery set. This is a, a two-pack of ribbon in the annual catalog. And um, I've mentioned before about uh, using tape to keep it from unraveling when you cut it. So that's what the tape is there for. And... Um, and then I have a piece cut for the uh, tag to hang with. 
and I have a piece of the white polka dotted tool because I thought that would be beautiful uh, for the hanger. Um, the little, you know, doohickey, dumaflachi, uh, you know, the pretty stuff on top. <laughs> And then I have some of the white uh, crinkle seam binding ribbon to tie a bow, which I absolutely love. So let's go ahead and get some of this stuff done. Now we're going to be doing a little bit of embossing today, so uh, I want to show you that as well. Um, let's start with the label because that's the quickest and simplest. We're just going to use Memento Black Ink. And that cute little two from stamp it is so dainty and sweet I love it and I'll tell you my mind is already going towards Halloween I cannot wait to have a moment to play with this so that I can make some Halloween gifts so cute all right so you see the uh, little two from stamp it's super super delicate and sweet I love it Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, stamp and emboss the especially for you, and that way we can just have it all done at once. Here we go. Get me a scrap of paper here. All right, so I've got Versamark ink and gold embossing powder. And let's just set it up and get it ready. All right, especially for you, fits perfectly in the little circle. Here we go. And now we'll set that aside, sprinkle a little powder. I need to order some more. I have been using it up. Actually, a bottle of embossing powder will last you a really, really long time. It's good stuff. All right, there we go. I think that's good. Now you can use a toothpick or a paintbrush or your fingernail, whatever you want to use to just pick off the little speckles of um, embossing powder that stick. That way you don't end up with a stray uh, scratch of color. So now I'm gonna use my tweezers because the heating tool gets pretty warm and it's gonna get loud for a minute. So let me just go ahead and turn it on and heat it up and uh, see if I can't dump some of this in here and get it out of the way. <laughs> there we go. All right. I'm just nice and easy going over the area until it turns and you can see it pretty plainly uh, once the um, once the powder reacts and it gets raised up and glossy. You don't want to go any longer than that. So as soon as you see the reaction uh, and see it bubble up, that's when you want to move along. All right, because you don't want to burn it. And uh, if you hold it too long in one spot, it'll actually flatten out the embossing powder and make it look scorched. And nobody wants that. So, okay, now let me show you how to assemble uh, the little box. So you're obviously going to uh, burnish your score lines first and foremost. Because it's a box, remember we always want to burnish our lines nice and crisp with a box. So that way it has a nice clean edge and uh, it helps it go together better as well. So let's just do that side and then we'll turn it over and do the same thing on this side. Here we go. And there. And you want to make sure you're lining up your edges here. 
and then give it the good press and then we'll bring this side in and we want to square it up so it's nice and straight and then do the same thing on this side square it up nice and straight and now we should be able to assemble this pretty easily so you're just going to bring these two ends up and then it just interlocks with the tab into the slot just like so on both sides now you could leave it just like that and then tie your box and it would be fine however I am a little paranoid and so I use some tear and tape across the top edge and I closed up that uh, that little tab area so that it could not come undone again that's just for my own mental well-being you do not have to do that I don't think but um, but I like the idea of it being secured extra well and then we'll use our take your pick tool pull the backings off now I have a feeling that someone may ask why I have one fingernail painted yellowy orange and the answer is quite simply that I forgot to remove it before I went on video uh, I got a um, I got a polish the other day that uh, I thought would be really cool for Halloween and um, I wanted to try it out and see what it looked like so I know that you do this too right you just color a little spot on your thumb so that you can see what it looks like and uh, I forgot to take it off <laughs> but it has glitter and uh, let me see if I can there we go get it to focus uh, it's got glitter and it's absolutely fabulous and uh, I can see it with some little uh, hand-drawn cobwebs and uh, or spider webs and a little spider on there or some bats or something it'll be really cute so anyway all right now that we've got that part done it's all about the assembly so we're going to get our Stampin dimensionals and I'm going to use the mini dimensionals for this one uh, because I like to put them all the way around the little circle so let me just put four of those on the backing of the white tag just like so and then I'm actually gonna put them on the back of the melon mambo as well which I don't think I told you that that was melon mambo uh, I did tell you that was blushing bride but this is melon mambo and uh, I like the um, magenta madness but it's really bright I mean it's really bright let me show you in comparison to melon mambo so that's melon mambo and that is magenta madness which uh, if you can see that the melon mambo actually has a little more red in it than the uh, magenta madness does anyway uh, in person this is super bright and so I wanted something a little softer and sweeter for a um, for a wedding type gift so I thought melon mambo would be better of course it's got a fine contrast with my fingernail right about now <laughs> which is only a little bit distracting <laughs> oh goodness that's my mind right now <laughs> okay so now we're just going to stick this uh, even on the three sides basically so I'm um, just gonna stick it on right about there and then I'm going to hang on to the center of my knot and pull those little um, tape pieces off and um, and I'm going to use some liquid glue. Normally I would use uh, a glue dot and you certainly could. Um, but I'm finding that when I wad it up into a little glue goober um, that it still uh, 
it still hangs over the edges of my um, of my twine here this this braided stuff is really fine so um, so I actually just want to use the liquid glue and I'm gonna put it on there and then I'm gonna leave it and I'm gonna get to work on the rest of my tag so uh, I want to layer my uh, wedding ring onto the tag itself and then bring this part through and I'm pretty sure I actually cut a lot more than I needed but that's okay just makes it easier to tie that knot and all I'm doing is wrapping the two around itself and uh, and making a very simple knot that way all right, so just like that, and I still want the knot to be closer to uh, closer to the tag rather than the ends, and then I'll go ahead and and pull those off too. So there we go, and then uh, this is I think it's approximately 13 inches. Let me see for sure. Uh, yeah, I would say approximately 13 inches and um, I'm folding it in half and basically just doubling this over. So I'm going to put it through the holes on the box and then uh, once I get it through and lined up, I'll clip that in so that way it's two separate pieces. And then I just want to make sure that the top of my box gets squeezed closed and then bring in the crinkle seam binding all right now this is the fun part tying it off here we go and all i'm going to do is tie this into a bow so um first things first i need to slip this through So that way it's on the box. And this is kind of like a juggling act. <laughs> so, there we go. We can adjust everything once we get this cinched down a little better. <laughs> All right, so we want that on the front and we want these together and we want to give it a good cinch it up. There we go, we'll put those right there okay now I'm just gonna tie it into a bow there we go tying bows live on film is always kind of uh, intimidating because you never know if today's going to be the day that you tie a good bow or <laughs> if it's not going to be a good bow. All right, now at this point, uh, I've got the bow tied. I'm confident it looks good. And um, I'm going to just turn that little guy just like so. And then grab my snips. There we go. All right. Now, let's see. I want to trim up the little tool edges here just so that they look finished. It's amazing how by just trimming it up the tiniest little bit, it really, really does uh, help finish off your project really nicely. So you should always, you should always want to... Um, tidy up the ends of your ribbons a little bit unless you want them frayed in which case fray them really good <laughs> all right guys there you have it i hope that you have enjoyed today's sneak peek project be on the lookout for future videos and tutorials using the little treats bundle i'm really enjoying it it's super cute it's really easy to use and work with it's perfect for putting um hand sanitizers in they fit let me uh let me grab one here i just happen to have one uh, I'm going to have to untie it though, I think. Rar. Yep. Okay. Well, 
that's all well and good anyway okay I'm not gonna untie that but it does fit so you can see uh, it fits perfectly actually and um, so anyway you can put a hand sanitizer in there wouldn't that make a fabulous wedding favor right now <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you can put some candies in there little trinkets treats whatever you can find uh, super cute and adorable so thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it now uh, this particular bundle is not available until August 4th. However, August 4th is steadily approaching. Uh, if you can't stand to wait until August 4th, you need to sign up as a Stampin' Up! demo because you can still pre-order for the August uh, catalog. So you'll be able to get the bundle and see all of the new and exciting things that are coming and be able to purchase them for yourself. So if you just can't wait for a few more weeks, which I don't blame you, I wouldn't want to. These are gorgeous. Uh, send me a message, leave a comment down below, or visit my website, danasullivan.stampinup.net. I would love to have you uh, on board with the Stampin' Chicks and um, be a part of Stampin' Up. It's such an amazing uh, opportunity, and you get $125 dollars worth of products for only 99 bucks so it's literally the ultimate bundle and you can get all of the brand new uh upcoming catalog stuff with that 125 dollars so it's even better all right guys thank you all so much for watching have a wonderful night bye for now